intellectuals, scientists and philosophers. INFJs are often portrayed as constantly empathising with every human and creature that crosses their path. In my experience though, they are equally as likely to be intellectual or philosophical and more focused on things as opposed to people. One of the things you'll notice with all of the types is that they serve their top two functions, just not always in the most direct way. Let me try to give an example here. Imagine an INFJ architect. Although they might spend most of their time designing inanimate objects, ultimately they could still be focused on the impact it's going to have on the people who will be living and working in the buildings they're designing. So they're very much using their extroverted feeling, but it's not necessarily obvious and you wouldn't notice it. It's being used in an indirect or roundabout way. So an INFJ can be focused on humanity and helping people without actually having to interact with that many actual people. I mean, after all, they are still introverts. When it comes to the stereotypical careers, in my view, you're just as likely to find them in the halls of scientific academia as you are being a counsellor or therapist. There is really nothing about the INFJ's functions that prevent them from being in science or engineering or areas that are typically less people-focused. Having introverted thinking in their third slot makes them very beholden to being logically consistent. Being reasonable and rational is something they value greatly and implicitly. They are excellent at spotting underlying patterns and trends. Introverted intuition and introverted thinking is an extremely analytical combination that lends itself very well and easily to scientific and philosophical pursuits. Mystics. I've heard INFJs be described as almost psychic, and I think this comes from their uh, introverted intuition. Since it's often an abstract and non-verbal function, which will miraculously come out with an answer, seemingly out of nowhere, this can definitely afford them the vibe of a mystic who is divining answers from some magical place. I think this is much more a product of deep internal processing and excellent people skills. If they wanted to, they could certainly con people into thinking they were indeed psychics. In my experience, INFJs tend to be much more down-to-earth and grounded in their approach to life. They can be very realistic and a far cry from the lost-in-their-head stereotype. They're not going to have quite the alien vibe that INTJs do and will generally look a bit more normal, emotional. Like I mentioned with the INFPs, the stereotype or expectation of them being overly emotional is very misguided. INFJs can come across very much like INTJs in their detached and stoic approach to life. They are both somewhat otherworldly in their vibe and demeanour and certainly won't impose their emotions on other people. In fact, INFJs are much more likely to neglect their own emotions as opposed to being overly emotional. Their extroverted feeling is constantly drinking in other people's emotions, absorbing the vibe of a situation or the room, and to a large extent, catering to the emotional needs of the people around them, often playing the role of peacemaker by virtue of their strong allegiance to harmony. I would say that INFJs are much more in tune with the emotions of other people in their life than they are of their own. It's possible that INFJs are the least emotional of the feeling types. Sensory and sensual. I think that the magician and mentalist Darren Brown is an INFJ. When you see him performing on stage, which I have many times, he comes across like an ESTP. Ultra high energy, moves at a relentless pace, improvisational in the moment, very reactive to the people around him. After going to see him on a number of occasions, I realised these seemingly spontaneous things he was doing were actually part of a perfectly crafted persona. It was an act, and that becomes even more obvious when you see him in interviews. INFJs, I think, have this exceptional ability to emulate different personas and different types. So when they want to, they can kind of come across like the total opposite of what they are, naturally. They can channel this forcefulness and energy, but only really in short bursts. Kind of like a performance that has a time limit on it, where they have to retreat back to their introverted lair. Think of it like when Yoda starts fighting. He comes to life in this acrobatic way, but just for that brief period. As always, let me know down below in the comments if there are any INFJ stereotype-defying facts that I've missed out. Also, if you're an INFJ, please like and subscribe, and check out the links below, including our Discord server, where we'd love to have some more INFJs.